The HR, so, you know, because you're just ordering a drink. You know, sex on the beach is overrated. The drink or the sex? Both. <laughs> because, you know, if you tried to have sex in the pool, you know that's not easy. <laughs> Why? What's so hard? Because you're trying to go up the hill and you're getting resistance. You're trying to go From the water yeah. that is within. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Because when you're in the pool, you are surrounded in the water. Right. Have you ever tried to put anything? <laughs> Watch it now. Brian's no. going to send us the commercial. <laughs> oh, what? oh, you trying to move me on now, right? You, you tell me, you tell me, get engaged in the conversation. <laughs> then I start to get engaged. Then you want me to stop talking. Let's engage. All right, engaged. next topic. Don't, I was learning things. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, these are things you already know that you maybe don't know that you know because you haven't done it for a long time. Oh. Or maybe never did it. I don't believe that. A pool? If you've never done any of these things that That's are in my brain right now, in a pool? I'm a natural born blonde. <laughs> but this is the That's next topic. Pool. All right, guys. So we got to talk about the cackling hands on the view, who nowadays, you know, on the show, they, they seem to be giving some hard hitting political analysis on today's politics, right? That's what they're doing. That's what they're talking about having sex on the beach and in a pool, which, you know, Whoopi apparently has an issue with, right? And I think she has an issue with that because maybe she is just, I don't know, <laughs> too large, okay? She got too many roles. You got to move out the way to, uh, you know, <laughs> fit in there, right? And do what you got to do to actually uh, make that happen, okay? I think she got more problems uh, when it comes to sex than, uh, you know, just getting in the water, right? <laughs> I'm sure there are more obstacles in the way, <laughs> In terms of Whoopi performing that act. Again, something that really is a nightmare to even, you know, think about, right? Uh, biggest turnoff ever. But anyways, again, that's the hard-hitting political analysis that is happening on The View. And I got to show you guys this clip of The View discussing Ron DeSantis versus Gavin Newsom. Who, uh, you know, recently I did a video about uh, them debating, okay? They've agreed to debate, okay? And this is going to be an interesting debate, in my opinion, because it's basically... Florida versus California, right? Uh, which I think, again, this is an important debate because it, it really is a debate about what is the direction that you want this country to go in, right? You're going to use the uh, blue state governor, okay, uh, Gavin Newsom, who probably is going to uh, take over for Joe Biden if Democrats decide to get rid of him because the poll numbers are so low, right? If not, he'll take over in 2028. He'll be the guy. Kamala Harris is way too un uh, unpopular, uh, for Kamala to take the reins, uh, or, you know, Ron DeSantis, who is, in, in my opinion, the most successful conservative governor, uh, that we've had in a long, long, long time, and he's made Florida a solid red state, okay, uh, during his re-election campaign, um, which state do the American people want the country to be like more, right, Florida or California, okay, and I want to go ahead and play the views hard hitting right in-depth analysis of this debate because for you know whatever reason Sonny Holston believes that uh Gavin Newsom has the advantage here because he is more attractive than Ron DeSantis take a look so here's the topic Ron DeSantis you know remember him <laughs> he's been too scared to even mention Donald Trump he doesn't hardly say anything about him am I right mm -hmm. what's he so scared of but he is not afraid of Gavin Newsom, apparently, who has now sort of said he wants to debate him. He should be afraid. He's very attractive. <laughs> he is That's very handsome. He is, he is. Well, let's watch the clip and then talk about it. You heard Gavin make the offer. Your answer is? Absolutely. I'm game. Let's get it done. Just tell me when and where. This is the debate for the future of our country because you have people like Joe Biden. They would love to see the Californication of the United States. Biden may not even be the nominee. You could have Gavin Newsom. You could have Kamala Harris. And I think if we go down that direction, that's going to accelerate American decline. We can't see America decline anymore. We need to reverse American decline. He said fornication. <laughs> Is that a Red Hot Chili Peppers reference? <laughs> 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 wow. I'm, gonna, I'm reporting him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
So, um, what's, what's with Newsom? Is Newsom running or what? Oh, God. For I... what? Best hair in the United States? <laughs> the nominee of the Democratic Party is Joe Biden, and, and his vice president is Kamala Harris. Okay, maybe. Well, yes. Maybe. And, and, no, but he's setting, maybe he's setting I... himself up for 28. He could be setting himself yeah. for 2028. I think uh, we, we all read that President Obama had lunch with, with Biden and, and explained to him that there were some problems with his candidacy and that head-to-head -head with against Trump, he wasn't doing that well. And that he would cer certainly support him, and of course the vice president is supporting him. But there is a problem there. And when you look at someone like Gavin Newsom, I mean, California is one of the world's largest economies. The world, yeah. not just this country. Um, the GDP in 2022 was $3.6 trillion, representing 14.3% of the total U.S. economy. He is a vanguard. This is someone that's a visionary. He's been great on climate change. He's been uh, great on the economy in uh -huh. California. He's been very, very good. And we've had him on the show several times. And again, he's an attractive candidate, unlike Ron DeSantis, who you get like kind of he creeped out by him like well, he's just not I like a know. great candidate so what, I'm not but voting what's the, what's on the, the point? looks of them but i think that we're not going to say looks we're not going to date very attractive no but, I'm candidate. but i think the, the, the thing that i saw was i didn't jump straight to him taking anyone's place it's yeah. like when you see campaigns and everyone's rolling them out they do stump speeches they go to towns they talk why not take him head on when the types of ideas he's defending won't hold up in a debate. They're indefensible. You know, so I think Newsom going out almost as like a, an ambassador of sorts for the party, it, it, take him out. And Do is it, it a policy-based debate? Well, I don't know how much we know because I think Fox News would be leading it and Sean Hannity would be conducting it. So I think Gavin Newsom has to prepare for an audience that's probably going to be cheering for Governor DeSantis. As far as I see it, I'm here for the exchange of ideas. Yeah. Seven in ten Americans don't want a Trump versus Biden rematch. And this is not saying he's coming to take the nomination. It's showing what else is out there. But yeah. here's what I'd say. DeSantis only has to lose by engaging in this debate. His poll numbers have been going down. Gavin Newsom, I disagree with him on virtually everything. California, there's a lot of bad you can litigate on his record. True. But he only has to gain here. He raises his profile. And if there, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, is a scenario where Joe Biden decides he's not running, if something changes majorly, this puts him in a prime position to be a future leader of the party. And it kind of tees up a future. And I, I, th I, think, uh, I think it's a stupid idea by Gavin Newsom. And I think it kind Kind of shows him as a little desperate for attention. We know DeSantis is desperate for any attention that is not about his failing campaign and flawed candidacy and the fact that he's got no charisma and no substance other than the word woke. Yeah, so there's this double standard that always bothers me about what women are allowed to say about men in the mainstream media versus what men are allowed to say about women, right? Like, could you imagine a panel of men making jokes whether serious or not i think that sunny holston has been 100 percent serious because this is not the first time she sat on that show and talked about how much she wants to ride on gavin newsom's d right because that's basically what she's saying which if i was her husband you know i would correct her on that right i would have a problem with her openly opining about how attractive another man is on national television shows you how much respect she has for her husband okay and you know what type of man he probably is to continuously allow his wife to do that but again this is what she's doing she she sat on tv and she says well gavin newsom is more attractive right and we know what she means okay that gavin newsom is a nice looking man Right, that is the level of analysis that is coming from the cackling hands on the view. She goes on to cite some very basic numbers about California having a large GDP, which they've always had, right, for a long time, right, even before Newsom, okay, and being, you know, one of the larger economies in the world, which again they've been for a long time. That really has nothing to do with Gavin Newsom, while not talking about any of the actual real numbers. OK, and the comparisons between Florida and California, which, you know, Florida is beating California in education. Florida is the number one state in the country for education. The poverty rates are similar. OK, uh, Florida's poverty rate is 13.1 uh, percent and California's rate is 12.3 percent. So effectively tied. But uh, as of May 2023, California's unemployment rate uh, was 4.5 percent. And Florida's uh, unemployment rate was 2.6%, which is below uh, the national average, right? So again, you know, in Florida, you could actually get a job, right? Um, also, again, in California, you're going to pay way more taxes, okay? You're going to pay a lot of taxes. In Florida, 
uh, they don't have a individual state income tax. Okay, so you're going to save money there, right? The medium price of home slash rent uh, is significantly uh, lower in Florida. For example, in Florida, uh, as of April 2023, uh, it was $410,000. And in California, the medium uh, price of a home was $863,000. With the average income of Floridians being $61,000 and California is $84,000, right? So um, the price of a home is double in California than it is in Florida. And the income, right, in California is only slightly higher than Florida, okay? So even in Florida, if you make less money on average, the cost of living is a lot lower. So your dollar is going to stretch a lot farther. You're going to be richer in Florida on average than you would in California in regards to purchasing power in terms of what you can actually buy, okay? When it comes to the homeless population, uh. California has basically been terrible, okay? California's homeless population has grown significantly over the past uh, two decades, increasing by 23% since uh, 2007. Florida, on the other hand, has seen a 46% decrease in homelessness in the same time period, okay? So again, the exact opposite. When it comes to violent crime, the rate per capita uh, in California is 470. So that's 470 per 100,000. And in Florida, it is 363 per 100,000. So again, you can see with the numbers here, education is better. Uh, homelessness uh, is better in Florida. When it comes to crime, uh, it's better in Florida. When it comes to homelessness, it's better in Florida. <laughs> when it comes to cost of living, it's better in Florida. When it comes to taxes, it's better in Florida. Again, this is not, again, this is not even a debate, right? Florida is clearly a better state. Ron DeSantis is clearly a better governor than uh, Gavin Newsom. Uh, but again, what the calculating hands, you know, their level of analysis that, well, Gavin Newsom's more attractive, right? He's an attractive man, which again, is all the more evidence and reason why, you know, hey, maybe we should uh, consider, right, having some debate about the 19th, okay? Because if this is how women are voting, right, they're voting based off which man they think looks good, right? Who's the most attractive? Again, it, I'm just saying, um, that seems to be the reason why you have single women overwhelmingly voting Democrat, right? While everybody else, literally every other demographic group votes Republican, whether that be single men, married women, or married women. Quite literally, the main group of people carrying the Democrat Party are single women, right? They are overwhelmingly voting Democrat. And again, if Sonny Holston is any indication, if this is what they vote based off of, who looks good, who's the most attractive, that's why this country is is headed for a disaster, right? Again, we've fallen off a cliff, okay, behind young, woke women, right? It, it truly is a disaster, right? Just as much as uh, the state of California is a disaster because um, you have people leaving California in mass exodus, okay? You have 111,000 residents, more than 300,000 people per day have ditched California or the West Coast for Texas, where, again, the cost of homes is significantly less, okay? Uh, and they're citing liberal policies, okay? Liberal policies. More than 40% of residents are thinking of quitting the Golden State with almost a third blaming the state's liberal politics. So let's read a little bit here because, again, this type of stuff they don't they don't talk about on the view because, again, they, they just don't have the capabilities, right, intellectually. After years of woke politics, soft on crowd policing and rampant open-air homelessness and drug-taking, Large numbers of Californians have had enough. More than 40% are considered quitting the Golden State, joining the likes of Joe Rogan and Elon Musk and selling their West Coast properties. Yeah, I haven't even mentioned the mass exodus of businesses from California. All these businesses that are leaving California because of high taxes, soft on crime policies, they can't survive, right? They just can't do business in the state. Almost a third of the uh, state's residents said their urge to leave is fueled by its liberal politics, according to a new poll from a consortium of California nonprofits. The study also found that Californians face deep economic uh, anxieties with satisfaction in the state's economy, dropping 12% since the start of the pandemic in 2020. Over 500,000 people have fled California since the start of the pandemic, according to 
official census data. Let's read a little bit more here. The study which surveyed 800 California residents quizzed people on a variety of issues, including crime in the area, healthcare, cost of living, and safety. The findings were telling over the state's decline in recent years with a majority of respondents saying they are far more concerned about their lives than last year. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet. Again, they're just letting crime uh, go crazy in California. They've legalized <laughs> debauchery, okay? Uh, California is sharply divided among racial lines, according to the study, uh, which found the residents are evenly divided over whether America has overcorrected and gone too far in its attempts to give everyone equal rights. While majority, 53% uh, of white Californians agree, a larger majority, 63% of black uh, Californians disagree. Yeah, so no surprises here. Black people not going along with reality, right? Which again is why they continue to vote Democrat. Again, it just shows up everywhere. Nearly half, 46% of those surveyed said they struggle to save money as they barely scrape by, with 18% saying they find it difficult to make ends meet. Uh, yeah, but if you listen to Kamala and Joe, binomics, right? Binomics, okay? Binomics. Everybody's doing great. Inflation is down, according to these people. The dire outlook in the state has led the 40% to consider leaving California, and almost half of them uh, say they're very seriously thinking of moving. Among those thinking of leaving, a large majority, 61%, cited the high cost of living as the reason. This figure jumped to 71% among black or Asian slash Pacific Islander residents. In comparison, almost 31% said they are considering leaving California because California's woke politics doesn't align with their views. Yeah, so again, I mean, the woke politics is the reason why it's a disaster, right? Right. And uh, again, I, I'm going to say it and I'm going to say it again about, you know, this debate between Ron DeSantis and uh, Gavin Newsom. It's important because I think that the American people should see this debate about the direction of this country. Right. And where do you want to go? And if Ron DeSantis can't win this debate or sway people's opinions here, then he doesn't deserve to be president. Right. He shouldn't be president. And maybe he isn't cut out to lead the American people or to lead this nation. Uh, if he cannot dominate Gavin Newsom in this debate. But hey, who knows? Again, if you got people like Sonny Holston watching, it might not matter what the facts and statistics say. It might not matter what the reality is uh, because apparently Gavin Newsom is an attractive guy. Uh, that's all you need to earn her vote, <laughs> which is, again, why this country has fallen off a cliff. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.